Hello Gemini and welcome to your February reading. So I've meditated on your energy and I laid down the first uh, layer of card and uh, after the general I'll have a little bonus love reading because it's February and it's the month of Valentine's Day. So uh, what spirit wanted to talk to you about for the month of February? The first card is that I have is the Emperor. So the Emperor, this is mastering ourselves. Uh, so this is probably something that happened in December or in the beginning uh, in January, sorry, or in the beginning of February. Uh, but it's all about gaining that mastery of our abundance, of our, our actions out there, of how we manifest our reality, what we do and act in our reality. It's the four kings, the emperor. Uh, so there's the process here that's been happening. After that, I have the five of wands, which talks about... Um, the Five of Wands is when energy is not aligned, disbursement. It could be um, that uh, chaos, chaos that comes from different parts of ourselves that do not agree, like between our inner child, our soul, our ego, um, people around us, and all of that, creating this uh, conflict where when things are not aligned, it's very hard to create something. On a small scale, this can be just brainstorming. You know, when we, we throw all kinds of different points of views and opinions. But if you look closely at this card, and you can see it better in the Rider weight, with five sticks, you can create the pentagram, which is power of man in the world in that matrix, in the 3D world, in the pentacle world. Uh, so here they have a hard time making this because uh, they are all juvenile. There's a lack of maturity, there's a lack of alignment. So this, for some of you, it is inside, others you will live it outside of yourself. And after that I have the high priestess. So that's why I think this is more of an inner process. In order to master your emperor completely, there's uh, maybe a little leftover of unaligned energies within you uh, that you are going to take care of this month. So under our emperor, I have the devil and the page of cup. So um, that tells me that in order to kind of be in totally your emperor mode. Um, you have to face your devil. And your devil comes with page of cup, princess of cup in this case. So that is when we are able to grasp an ace of cup. And we start walking with it. The block was there. What is an ace of cup? The ace of cup is always overflowing our capacity to actually absorb that flow of love and abundance from the universe is equal to the size of the cup that we have and our size of the cup is our capacity of what we allow to receive so there are stages like going to 10 and going up then again another cycle and again another cycle at the page is when we can grasp that cup and offer it or take it for ourselves but starting to walk with that cup of love filled with possibility and when we say love it's more than just romantic love it's what holds everything together it's the vibration of things the waters so this is where your devil was and under that I have the nine of cups so we are talking all of this you know, like from the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups, you needed to get that 
other cup of self-love to be completely fulfilled emotionally here at the nine of cups so this is part of the process of the emperor so some of you as i say that you're probably thinking yeah i saw that devil last month i saw where i lacked self-love and how that prevented me to be in complete control of my life and i faced my devil so we're starting like this and then here that last over uh, little conflict inner conflict under that i have the empress and the queen of cups so from the princess to the queen and here is all that thing about allowing abundance um, knowing exactly who deserves our uh, emotions and vibration she doesn't give her cup to anybody and she makes sure that she is fulfilled first and here we have the empress with her emperor empress and why that little conflict is still there yes we need to master that cup that we just uh, received but uh, also in order to finish a cycle probably with our uh, little devil friend here we need to look from a different angle our old wounds and uh, the battles we lost the, the moves and the energies that hurt us this is almost finishing a cycle of ones nine of ones we're almost there um, to the point where we will change completely the way we're doing things because at this point that way brought us um, pains and wounds so to look at that from a different angle that means like maybe not from a victim point of view maybe more like taking full responsibility for it or what triggered um, those decisions like let's say you had like a bad relationship why was I attracted to that man what brought me to that man uh, it's all taking responsibility of something is seeing our part in the dance and therefore we gain control of it so anyway for whatever it is you know what attracted me to that job why did I accept that responsibility that ended up hurting me or whatever look back at your wounds as an adult and try and see them differently our wounds as child we have to look at differently at the person that did that to us um, so that we can see their limits and their weaknesses that made them act that way so that we see that we are like collateral damage and not deserving of it so it's all part of the healing here the hangman so you can finish that cycle of what prevented you to have that self-love and contentment that you need here and so under our high priestess which is our soul speaking to us that spiritual wisdom that is in silence in that inner knowing not what we read but what we know inside of us under that I have judgment and these two cards like that it's like a gnomon uh, I would say in the month of February open your eyes this is receiving a message for your soul from the heavens that will actually see after finishing the cycle here we are reborn that will actually come and complete something within you um, judgment and the high priestess look at it you know during the month a gnomon what is it it could be a bird that is somewhere it shouldn't and is looking at you or just there for you you feel it inside look at what you were thinking at the moment um, a feather falling down whatever it is for you um, seeing uh, on television and then on the internet or uh, meeting people that tell you the same thing uh, and, and you're like okay this is a message for me 
there's an omen during the month of February. And then under this, there we have, see we have the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands. We have here the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Wands. So you are finishing those two cycles here. And with the Ten of Cups, I had the Eight of uh, uh, Swords. So that is that... Uh, that part of ourselves, you know, like when facing our demon will be that, how hard it will be to get that extra cup, okay? And uh, to get that extra cup where we come to a point where we can share it, we are nine em emotionally fulfilled to ourselves, and ten we can share with others without being emptied by the others, without... Uh, doing crazy sacrifices or whatever. Eight of Swords, that's how we don't know how to do about it. How do, which way do I do? How do I do it? I could do this, but, you know, I could be with somebody, but they're going to end up, you know, um, taking all my energy and I won't be able to do my things or all that self-thought that prevents us to go towards something end of that cycle and then with the not the ten of wands the end of the cycle of the way we used to do things i have the hermit and the hermit went to see the high priestess and found its light and its truth within himself and that is what is guiding him with that wisdom like that uh, cosmic intelligence let's say okay of his higher self he is walking with with his higher self so that marks the end of that cycle so two cycles here uh, let's clarify for Gemini I call upon the divine I call upon the Holy Spirit I call upon the light I call upon my guides I call upon the spirit of Gemini Gemini's. Yes, people. Gemini's. Come here now. Let me clarify this reading for Gemini's. <sighs> That's a bit too close to the candle. To the candle there. Well, okay. Emperor. Talk to me about the Emperor for Gemini's. Emperor. Emperor. Ah. Well, whoops. <laughs> I have the judgment. So, basically, what... Uh, and the Devil here, Ten of Swords, that's great, and the Pope. Okay. So... When it comes to your emperor this month, you're getting an omen. A lot of you, this is inner work to vibrate at the level of the emperor. Man or woman, because we have our feminine and our masculine within us. Others of you, it's your emperor outside of you. Uh, getting news from that person. But I would, um, I would tell you that... Uh, the most important part because anyway if you vibrate at the emperor within yourself of course your mirrors in your life will be on that level uh, the judgment is coming uh, that enlightenment that wake up call um, you coming to that new version of yourself on that level show me the five of wands Five of Wands for Gemini's. Five of Wands. <laughs> I'm trying to do something here. Okay? He likes the energy. But... Okay. Oh, 
there it is five of wands a page of pentacle so pentacles being and i was saying that the the five of wands was trying to create a pentacle a five-pointed star there and uh, so the page of pentacle it is that a capacity see after the judgment we are able to create that new pentacle that new way to see feel taste touch uh, ear <laughs> life this world uh, and bring a new level of abundance uh, there with the page the high priestess six of swords so six of swords that's being able and we have the eight of swords where we were stuck here in how to share love with others and receive love with others to get our ten of cups uh, from our soul there was there will be this movement to calmer waters um, peace of mind uh, guidance from our from our soul our soul that will receive the omen that will receive the divine message the um, enlightenment there the judgment so let's look at the devil and the princess of cups for gemini devil and princess of cups Star. this is beautiful and uh, you have like two uh, different stages here of uh, awakening as we say uh, the first door towards enlightenment is the devil why well, you might think you know why is the devil the first door because you cannot go towards higher levels of light if you don't face your own darkness first and that's where the devil is uh, so facing your devil which is what you do then usually the second door is the tower because what you see there through the tower that lightning bulb will be that kind of awakening where it will destroy what your dark uh, your darkness tried to build or the way it was trying to build and gain things and then you get to the, the star which at that point you are totally authentic with yourself it's that connection with the divine uh, where you're completely aligned with your stars there and um, connecting to your waters to your vibration to your memories uh, learning having learned and, and purified that so this is a real awakening judgment the devil and the star a real awakening on what was preventing you to grab that extra cup of love for yourself in your self-love in the appreciation of who you are and what you deserve to get to the nine of cup where you will be emotionally fulfilled by yourself able to feel the love of everything around you whether it is the trees the animals <laughs> the heavens the earth mother earth giving you uh, love this is beautiful Gemini beautiful let's look at the Queen of Cups and the Empress Queen of Cups and the Empress for Gemini. Queen of Cups and the Empress. Uh, yes, something turned around. Uh, five of Cups. 
So we are very emotional. And see, I have the um, the hangman there that is like under. Look at, yes, look at your past wounds and your past losses. Uh, the Five of Cups has uh, kind of its own solution on the card there. You know, because you have those two cups here that are plenty to go to the castle that is there. You cross a bridge that water passed under. So time, there is a question of time having passed. You know, when we say water passed under the bridge, there is a question of time having passed uh, or letting water pass under the bridge so we can get there. Um, so what those the five of cups is also you know those things that we thought were fulfilling us and ended up not fulfilling us um, losses grief uh, those emotional disappointments there emotional loss uh, they are spilled on the ground so this is where in the what we allow to receive if we are focused on what we weren't able to manifest what we lost and had invested ourselves in and that we loved if we focus on this this is what we allow so that is why the hangman is there for you to look at it differently from another angle that yes these were experiences but it is not you you have the power to open yourself up to much bigger than this and to grab those two cups there and to build for more so this is part of um, see that if you're in the five of cups that page of cup here that the devil was preventing you to grab that cup would have brought you to a six of cup which is the balance of the heart chakra it's the christic love love of life love of everything that is around us inner peace of giving and receiving with act not a giving to fulfill an emptiness or a loss uh, or vice versa there um, it is the pure balance of uh, Christic uh, heart chakra. So, uh, in order to be in your full empress, uh, this is what you have to heal. Like if you uh, you say, "Oh, I've I've lost too much. Uh, I don't believe in all of that." Of course, you'll always be in conflict and never be able to be in your total power on the world around yourself and your incapacity to manifest. We have to have the will to let these things go and pass, even if they have hurt a lot, like a deep grieving of something that we've loved so much. It can be the death of someone close to us. Uh, it's it's all part of uh, doing the grieving acknowledging it acknowledging all that couldn't be and uh, letting it go i know it's hard to say but it's on it's going to be on every level for all of you some big griefs other old griefs but it's a question of being able to put ourselves back into that connection of uh, unconditional love for life, for us, for everything around us. And when we feel that we are one with everything, the losses are not really losses because we are still connected with uh, all, all that we have loved at one point. On an etheric level, but we are still connected. Okay, judgment. Okay, so the judgment, I was talking about leaving our emotional baggage behind because we know that there's more out there from 8 to 9 here. Okay, it's that 
understanding from within. Oh my God, I know there's more out there. I see it. It could be that, you know, you hear, you know, you could have much more. You hear that two, three times. It is a message for you. This, this is saying, this what I've lived here, it's not my story. There I am, the soul experiencing a human life. There I am knowing within myself, in the night, within myself, that there is more out there. And that is the quest that I am taking under the moon, within myself. Okay. And then the other card I had with that, Ten of Pentacle, end of that cycle here. And the Six of Wands, here Six, Thiferet, the balancing, the balancing of the will here uh, and the ego and the recognition of ourselves, having learned the lesson. Here you have the crown of laurels like in the world card. And from five to six, from five to six, here we have that uh, pentacle uh, to go to the ten of pentacle, finishing that cycle, and from the five of wands, to uh, the six of ones. All right. And here I have the five of ones. So there it is. Okay. Um, nine of cups. Oh, all right. Queen of wands, ace of sword. Well, there's that understanding. And the queen of wands she's like manifestation itself because she is this is what i desire and i will attract it i understand now what i want this is like oh my god i want to live this i want more i want to um thrive um i am passion i am attractiveness uh there you go self-content that understanding the the message that you receive here that you're able to go right away to peace and comfort from facing your devil it's because you get the clarity on what is truly aligned with you that uh, wand you know that you were conflicted about that extra willpower to attract uh, self-content, uh, emotional uh, contentment, having elevated also your emotions uh, because they are on the shelves over his head, so they're not on the ground, they are over his head. Here the world and the nine of wands and the hangman spirit. So here you finish your cycle. You understand the lesson behind what you have lived. And so now you are in balance with everything. Why don't you go there? Here, come here. Yeah, good boy. Okay, there's a pack here, but here I have the two of ones, which is a decision. And it is going to be a decision to get out of your comfort zone. To You, you have mastered that way of doing things from before. We call him Lord of the Domain, Lord of his domain. And, and now he's got a new will. A bit like here, oh my god, now I know what I want. It is out there, it's outside of the way I used to do things. And I need to look at that from a different angle to get that enlightenment. And so here you're finishing. See, there's three cycles you're finishing here. A cycle emotional of cups, of wands, of will, of the way you bring things to the world. Uh, and there's 
our Empress. And she comes out with the Seven of Pentacle. So this is going to arrive through um, reflection. Actually, with the knowledge of it's a process, I am moving towards that, towards... Um, I've got the awakening on my masculine and now I am ending cycles so that my feminine be at the Empress. So since they put it out with the, um, the Seven of uh, Pentacle, that means that, yes, it might not happen all of it in the month of February. We are talking about a month here. But there will be efforts to continue to put in, like this guy is tending his garden, he sees the fruits on the trees, but they're not ripe. He sees the empress here is in the process of, through the work that you are doing, uh, but it's not ripe yet. So it could be next month, it could be in the month after, but what you are doing is leveling up. And first here, the emperor, where you 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 got an understanding and you're getting another one at the end of the month here it's like if you got one in january and you're getting another one at the end of february the first one was on your masculine side and then this one will be about your feminine about what you allow about your connection to the the whole zodiac there She's got a crown with 12 stars. She's connected to the whole zodiac. So she can, she's inspired by the, all the parts of the cosmos in order to create her abundance. So, how could that be called? Ah, a great omen. You, you, that's it. Keep your eyes peeled and your ears open because you are going to get a message this month from from your guides from spirit from the cosmic intelligence from the divine uh, yeah you're gonna feel it inside and things are going to make sense inside it's gonna be like oh okay I understand now I can continue to move on my path. All right. So, uh, now for the love part. I, I pulled some Lenormand. And here I have the fish. First card. I pulled three cards. The first card is the fish. And that is for love. So, the fish, that is abundance in the deep levels. So it is something that is brewed under. If we would be talking about financial, uh, that would be like uh, prosperity on that level. Here we're talking about love. So the aspect of some abundance brewing under. The second card is the tree. So this is also part of growing. A slow process go grow. But see how deep and slow growth, an abundance that is slowly growing and being built. This is a bit what is happening here because we know that your Empress is going to bring you unconditional love. Whether you're in a couple right now or single or, or unconditional love is a vibration. So even if you've been married for 20 years, when you attain the... Uh, the Empress, you love and receive love on a totally different level. And it can be from the same person. You just feel it completely differently. Anyway, so something that has been brewing and growing from a, for a long time. And then I got the mountain. So I was like, okay. Uh, because the mountain, it's it says by itself, it's like this thing to climb in front of us like hitting a wall there's that obstacle an obstacle is something to overcome 
I think the thing to overcome is what you are doing here and you are going to have helped. So anyway, I asked what will become of that obstacle that prevents the, uh, the deep growth here that is happening. And the bottom of the card that I have is the coffin, which is the end of it, the end of uh, that obstacle. For some of you, and just a small percentage of you, uh, something you deeply cared for uh, is because I, I do have here Queen of Cups and uh, it's going to bring you a big emotional challenge to remain in the vibration of love. Others of you, it is more the continuation of the deep work of, uh, because we are talking about love, um, because after that I do have uh, the boat, which is that uh, moving away from ourselves, you know, uh, doing a voyage. What is a voyage? Is when we are from one place and going to another. Uh, it can be literally, but it can be also inside of us. So that obstacle, being able to move from that obstacle to continue our work, our deep work of growth. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's not like the flamboyant uh, man in the garden with uh, the, the bouquet. It is a deep abundance that is growing slowly, but that this month, whatever was blocking you to actually uh, go further, will have an end to that. So, it is positive for this month of uh, February in a process. And you are doing a big, deep process this month, Gemini. So, look for that omen. And um, what was blocking you was something that actually had to go and to, to let go. Uh, eight of eight of cups so it's like if you're going to remove what was blocking you to love to have a true high vibrational uh, love in the month of February you're getting the enlightenment on it and you're going to do it so on this I'm going to wish you all my love and light for the month of February and a happy Valentine's Day to all of you. And uh, thank you for liking and sharing, making the, the channel grow, commenting. I read all the comments and um, private readings. The description is below with the address to write to. And thank you for the ones of you that gave donations. Every new moon and full moon, I do a ceremony to give you back. And on this love and light, I'll see you next month, Gemini.